And now, from the Maracanã Stadium in Brazil, the Exploding Heads End of Decade Awards! Absolutely Ian, just how important are the Exploding Heads End of Decade Awards, the Ihuaders? I don't think it's overstating it to say this is the biggest award ceremony in history. It is a great honour. Our to... first award, Manager of the Decade. Bob Bradley. That's right, he arrived in the Premier League dressed like a cat burglar doing a TED talk. He stole our hearts and left without anyone noticing. Most consistent use of teeth. Luis Suarez. In a decade where barely anyone bit anyone, Luis scored an astonishing hat-trick. Sporting all-rounder of the decade, Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale excelling at two sports. Yes, golf and mini-golf. You have to admire his dedication. He doesn't even like golf. Nobody does. Tweet of the decade, Wayne Rooney. Hi Rio, do you want picking up in the morning, pal? Postseason vacation of the decade, Lucas Laver. Hello everyone, I am in a farm at the moment. American celebrity, most annoyed to be confused with a Premier League personality. In second place, baseball player, Brendan Rogers. I am not the Liverpool manager! But first place, rapper, Mike Dean. <laughs> Inspiration of the decade, West Ham's Roberto. A deserved win for Roberto, inspiring for youngsters everywhere. It is, it's very inspiring. It's proof that you don't have to be good at football, you can still play in the Premier League. Most overblown farewell, John Terry. This is the most tearful, spontaneous event I've ever orchestrated. Oi, you ain't sad enough, be more sad. And you, be sad, I'm sad, you be sad. This is my last ever game. Play. Cheers, guys. Played. Most tearful farewell, Arsene Wenger's coat. Shortest farewell, Liverpool's title hopes in 2014. The Steve Bruce Award for being Steve Bruce goes to Steve Bruce. He's been Steve Bruce for so long, you forget how good he is at being Steve Bruce. Yes, I can see him defending this title for many years to come. Steve Bruce also wins Nutritionist of the Decade for absorbing an entire cabbage. The Stadium Fall from Grace Award goes to the London Stadium, which began the decade like this and ended the decade like this. Fairy tale of the decade, Leicester City's title win. Incredible narrative, Ian. Wonderful players. Snakes of the decade, Leicester City, the year after their title win. They sold out Ranieri. I haven't enough venom in my glands for these reprehensible men. And now let us pause to reflect on a sad note at those who have departed this decade to the Chinese Super League. Farewell, we barely remember you. Worst badge rebrand, Atletico Madrid. Oh, here we go again. Look at Atletico's old badge, okay? It's a bear looking up a tree at some yeah. apples. Why is the bear looking up a tree at the apples? Do bears even eat apples? Does the bear know he doesn't eat apples? Why is it done in Microsoft Paint? So many questions that run yeah. through the opposition's mind. They've replaced it with generic badge. They've got none of the intrigue, none of the mystique, none yeah. of the Microsoft yeah. Paint. Yeah, but look at Leeds United. They replaced their badge with an advert for heartburn. Yeah, but they didn't even go through with it, so it's a moot point. Columbus Crew. Columbus Crew used to have a silhouette of three builders. What have they got now? No, there's no builders. The builders, have got, where are the builders? There's not even a helmet there. Best photo of Ronaldo of the decade, the one of him half naked and asleep under a hedge. Chef of the decade, Patrice Evra. Most righteous indignation for an opponent's behavior that is identical to your own, Jose Mourinho. Preparation of the decade goes to Henrik Mkhitaryan, who turned up to preseason training five months pregnant. Car that isn't your car award of the decade was tightly contested. Jolien Lescott came second when he tweeted this picture of a sports car with his bottom. But the winner, West Bromwich Albion, who on a training tour of Barcelona stole as many taxis as they won league games under Alan Pardew. And now the award for most forgetful player. Bernardo Silva forgot to take his Christmas tree down until September. That is top level forgetting, Ian. But Alexi Sanchez has forgotten things on two separate fronts. He's forgotten how to play football he's forgotten he's already got this photo of his two dogs in his living room. He's got the same photo twice. It's two separate frames. Yeah. Could it be that the dogs got him those frames as a present? Um, you're saying dogs went out and got photos of themselves framed? Yeah, it's a possibility. Banter of the decade goes to whichever Sunderland player it was who wrote this on Jermaine Defoe's hat-trick match ball. Next time, try with defenders. Bizarre Photoshop of the decade, West Ham's Pedro Obiang, who for some reason photoshopped a cartoon clip art football 
onto an actual football. Invention that ruined football forever, VAR. Ian, these officials missed the decision because a wasp got into the control booth. That shouldn't be allowed. It's unbelievable, it really is. It's proof that the whole concept of VAR is so deeply flawed it should be thrown down a well and forgotten about. And finally, the sulkiest player of the decade. A hotly contested contest for sure. In second place, Ronaldo for leaving a whole stadium after being substituted. But first, Neymar. For consistent, world-class sulking, he sulked through at least three major tournaments this decade. Didn't even turn up to one because he wanted to play poker instead. He sulked about being second fiddle to Messi, then engineered the most lucrative transfer to the least competitive league in Europe. Scotland. Not Scotland only to find out he was second fiddle to Kylian Mbappe. That is world-class sulking. Congratulations, well Neymar. Great for the home fans to get a winner. They're booing us, Anthony. They're not booing us, no. They are booing us, aren't they? Good night. Good night, Mar Mar Macanuna. so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN plus